The Bureau of International Labor Affairs is an operating unit of the United States Department of Labor which manages the department's international responsibilities. According to its mission statement, the Bureau of International Labor Affairs leads the U.S. Department of Labor's efforts to ensure that workers around the world are treated fairly and are able to share in the benefits of the global economy. ILAB's mission is to improve global working conditions, raise living standards, protect workers' ability to exercise their rights, and address the workplace exploitation of children and other vulnerable populations. Our efforts help to ensure a fair playing field for American workers and contribute to stronger export markets for goods made in the United States. ILAB promotes the economic security and stability of United States workers in international affairs and provides advice and statistics on policy decisions which have U.S. labor concerns. The Bureau also represents the United States at trade negotiations and at international bodies like the International Labor Organization the World Trade Organization and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development It also provides technical assistance to foreign countries in the interest of benefiting the United States and additionally works with other government agencies to combat child labor and human trafficking abroad and in the United States. The Bureau of International Labor Affairs is located in the Francis Perkins Building, Room C4325, 200 Constitution Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C., 20210. It is currently under the direction of Deputy Undersecretary for International Affairs Carol Peer. History The Bureau of International Labor Affairs was formed October 10, 1947, during the administration of President Harry S. Truman under the direction of Louis B. Schwellenbach as a means to formally institutionalize the international directives of the Department of Labor. Since its creation, ILAB has helped pass the Trade Agreements Act of 1979, aided the introduction of the United States of America into the International Labor Organization and administered the North American Agreement on Labor Cooperation the portion of the North American Free Trade Agreement which dealt with trade relations and required the establishment of a department in each member state to provide information about labor conditions in that country. Child labor, human trafficking and forced labor In 1993, the United States Congress directed the Secretary of Labor, Robert Reich at the time, to identify foreign industries and countries which export goods to the United States which were produced using child labor. Responsibility for this project was given to ILAB which published the first of its reports on the subject, The Sweat and Toil of Children, the Use of Child Labor in American Imports. In 1999, President Bill Clinton signed Executive Order 13126 which prohibited the purchase of items which were produced by forced or indentured labor. It also authorized the Department of Labor to compile a list of items and their respective countries which would be banned. This fell under the purview of the Bureau of International Labor Affairs. The current list, as compiled by ILAB, consists of 31 products including bamboo, beans, cocoa, coffee, nuts, rice, rubber, shrimp, and sugarcane. The products come from countries such as Afghanistan, Argentina, Benin, Bolivia, Burkina Faso, Burma, China, Colombia, Congo, Ethiopia, Ghana, India, Ivory Coast, Mali, Nepal, Nigeria, Pakistan, Russia, Sierra Leone, Tajikistan, Thailand and Uzbekistan. As of 2004, ILAB has spent more than $250 million to combat child labor since 1995. On April 10, 2009, the Bureau of International Labor Affairs announced a letter of intent to fund international child labor elimination projects in fiscal year 2009. This involves the awarding of merit based cooperative agreement awards to organizations seeking to fund projects to combat child labor through education. It is intended that $20 million be budgeted for this purpose. 
These efforts will be focused in the countries of Guatemala, Indonesia, Nepal, and Rwanda. Topic: <laughs> International Technical Cooperation. ILAB provides technical assistance with other countries in the areas of technical expertise, worker health, and working conditions with the goal of benefiting US foreign policy. This program began in the aftermath of World War II when the Department of Labor taught German trade unionists to assist in European reconstruction efforts. In 1975, ILAB worked with the government of Saudi Arabia to develop a vocational training program and in 1989, after the passage of the Support for Eastern European Democracy Act CED, ILAB aided economies that were transitioning to a more open economic system to develop labor markets. Additionally, ILAB has undertaken various social initiatives globally including a $10 million project to combat the spread of HIV, AIDS in workers. These initiatives are all aimed at providing stability to an interconnected global economy in which labor issues in foreign countries can have negative effects in the United States. Offices. Office of the Deputy Under Secretary for International Affairs ODUS Office of Child Labor, Forced Labor, and Human Trafficking OCFT Research and Policy Division Monitoring and Evaluation Division Asia, Europe, MENA Division Latin America and the Caribbean Division Africa Division Office of Trade and Labor Affairs OTLA Trade Policy and Negotiations Division TPN Monitoring and Enforcement of Trade Agreements Division META Technical Assistance and Cooperation Division TAC Office of International Relations OIR Multilateral and Global Issues Division Office of Economic and Labor Research OELR Topic Related legislation Executive Order 13126 Food, Conservation, and Energy Act of 2008 Farm Bill Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act TVPRA Topic See also United States Department of Labor United States Department of State Harkin Engel Protocol Child Labor Children in Cocoa Production